Today we're making seedling lats so that we can plant seeds in a greenhouse so that we can extend our growing season. There's a huge advantage in planting your own seeds. First of all, you can control the quality of the plant. I know some plants that I pay for are not the quality that I want to get from nurseries or big box stores. If you plant your seeds in a seedling flat, a month before it's time to put them in the ground, you have a nice, healthy, big plant and you've added an extra month of growing season and harvesting to your plants. So it makes a lot of sense to plant your own seeds. So what we're doing here is we're making the Midlighter 18 inch square seedling flat this morning. What I have here is just some, it says economy plank paneling. They're eight feet long. They come in a pack of six. It was like almost $11. I've got a furring strip here, one by four. And what I've done is set up a couple jigs. First of all, the seedling flats need to be two and three quarter inches in height. So I'm going to rip this here. I've got my board set up. I've got my little device here that my wife made to help hold the wood in place. I've got my catch over on the other end. Then over here, I've got my wood paneling in here. I've set it up, put this brace here. So this is 18 inches. As you can see, I've already cut a couple pieces here. And so everything's set up to quickly cut the wood and be able to assemble it. When you're cutting the 1x4 for the ends, if you want to make the box exactly 18 inches square, you'll need to cut each of these a quarter of an inch shorter to make up for the difference because this is going on the end and that it's a quarter inch thick. What I found to help to get things lined up properly is I run my bead of glue across the boards top and bottom. Then I place my boards in and once I have everything lined up they kind of stay where I want them to go and then it makes it easy to get all the spacing set up. I also make sure that before I nail anything that I take my square and make sure that the corners are square and that way I have a nice square board. This seedling flat is ready now. I did use a electric brad nail gun. You don't need to. It's just easier for me. Of course, any small nail would work. I use three quarter inch brads in case you want to use the equivalent in a nail length. I was able to make two seedling flats by using three of the six eight foot long pine paneling and one eight foot long one by four furring strip. As always, look in the description box below this video for links to all the materials I used in this project. Well, that was a pretty quick project. It went together very easily once I had the right materials and the jig set up. So, what I did is I ripped this 1x4 furring strip to 2 and 3 quarters inches in height. Then I put it on the jig, cut everything 18 inches long. I also ripped these two end pieces here, these paneling, to be 2 and 3 quarter inches and everything is 18 inches long so everything is 18 inches square. I used some wood glue and a brad nail gun, glued everything together and it worked out great. Let me just turn this upside down so you can see the bottom of it too. There we go. Just uh, use the full length of those boards. What I did is I nailed the box together, squared it up, then I nailed this one on, evening it up on the corners, then I nailed this one up, evening it up, and then I just spaced the ones in between, and I got the great little eighth inch, quarter inch spacing there to allow the water to come out. All right, so there you have it, a midlighter seedling flat to grow all your seeds in. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you use the midlighter seedling flat, you can be able to quickly and easily, systematically, grow a lot of seeds for your garden.